Hi everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at a new plugin called Dash. What is Dash? Well, the name kind of says it all. Dash, it's a quick way of creating very unique scenes. And there's a lot of tools and a lot of the things that come with it is its mask featuring. And that's really what we're going to take a look at here when we look at this. And as you can see here, I've got this beautiful shoreline here. Uh, the water is done in fluid flux that does not come with dash, but I've used it to kind of enhance the scene with the rolling waves and a little bit of splashes coming up. But everything else, the rocks, the trees, everything has been done in dash. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at that now. <laughs> okay, everybody. So today we're going to be looking at dash and all I've done here is very simply i've created a landscape and with that landscape i've used a landmass brush tool okay that landmass brush tool is just very simple has a little bit of noise and i've used that to kind of just control the height and everything there i've built it so it works very well and that's about it i've added this in here the mossy chapel you can either do that through dash or you can do that through your content drawer that is about it this is a world partition so dash does work with world partition which is very very cool but you need to select multiple multiple layers to be able to place things and scatter them and that's what we're going to do right now we're going to start by showing you guys how easy it is to scatter on this system we're going to go up here to dash we're going to load it and <clears throat> we're going to click on the bridge and we're going to add some rocks what i did do is i pre-downloaded from the uh i believe it's the Taya uh, beach collection from quixel so let's go ahead and we'll just type in beach uh, da, 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 da. uh maybe it wasn't that maybe it was. ah all right so we got we got a whole bunch of good ones here let's do this one let's do this one let's hold down a whole bunch you could literally do a whole bunch here which is really good and then what we're going to do is is hold down control and just drag it and when you and with control held down you can just let go and it gives you a whole bunch of options you have control and what we're going to do is we're going to do scatter on selected i find that works a little better because sometimes when you want to go scatter here for example it will scatter it on top of another object but scatter on selected just helps you go ahead and bring it on here so just give it a second it's going to scatter a whole bunch of objects on these scenes kind of show you what it does all right, with that happening, you then get a nice little menu, surface scatter. So if this is missing, I'm gonna go ahead and close it. I'm gonna even close that. If that's missing, it's very easy. You can just click on the actual object. And when you click on the object, you're actually gonna have a whole bunch of options here. And this one being right here is the scatter options, which if I click off, that moves away. If I click on, you can see that it gives you a whole bunch of options. So what we're gonna do is click on that, which is the surface scatter options. And this is where we can play with a lot of things. So before I start getting into like how it looks and how it feels is I really want to look at placement. Okay, right now, obviously, the placement is not where I want it. We can play with other things after, but also, too, you can see it's going all the way down there, um, which in reality is you don't need. And that's where the masking features come in. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use some of those masking features. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is turn down the density a bit. Let's go like 0.3 just to make this a little. You can go even lower if you want. Um, but I'll just do 0.3 for now. Kind of cut it in half there or 0.25. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to go to feature masking. And this is where you have some neat features where you can play with the min height and max height. There's also add mask, remove mask, shrink mask. We're not going to really get into that, but you can play with it. 
But essentially what we want to do is, is we want to look at the max height mask, right? Which is all the way up here, the max height. So it's looking at the max height of this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this down to, uh, let's go ahead and just 0.4 for now. So that was too much. What I want to do is I want to bring it so it's going right up the ocean here. We're going to go like 0.5. Ooh, went a little too much. So let's 4.2. Let's do four, three. Oh, there we go. And we're going to play with that a little bit as we kind of get, uh, when we start playing with the size of our rocks, how many we want, things like that. All right, so now we're going to want to do is bring the rocks up. And now I know, and now because I know this is at like a 0 0.43, if I go like 0 0.4, it's going to move it closer. So I know because of how close it is. So let's go even closer. Let's do four, one. There we go. So now you can see there, it's going between four, one and four, three, which is really, really nice. Excellent. All right. So now let's go ahead and play with a little bit of the scale. So we have a min scale here and a max. Let's uh, crank up the max of it. Let's go to like five. <laughs> and you can see what it's doing there. That's pretty cool. That is really, really cool. Um, and what we're going to do actually as well is bring down the max count. So even though the density is there, see, I can bring down the density all the way down to 0 0.1. You can see it's still pretty full. But what you can actually do, I'm going to go back to it was like 0.3, somewhere around there. If we go down to the bottom where it says miss settings here, we can actually take down the max count okay so what we're gonna do is bring it to mm, let's just start around like maybe a thousand let's see how that looks okay let's add a bit more let's add another zero there let's go to like there oh there we go that's a bit better Excellent. Okay, good. So now that you see that we're starting to play with certain things, you've noticed it's kind of moved in different ways, done different things. Um, we're also going to sink this into the surface a bit. Right now, it's there. So let's just start. I'm going to click and drag. So you have these arrows here, but sometimes you don't notice as much. So we're going to go to... Let's go high. Let's just go two. There we go. So now it's sinking in there. So now... What we've got to do is, is play once again with the feature masking. So we're going to go, let's do, let's see if I go like 0.3, what happens? 0.3, that's probably a little too much. Let's do like 0.325, there we go. I don't mind that it's doing that there. We'll fix that in a little bit. And then here we are going to go, Two. Oh yeah, there we go. So now we're getting them just coming up on the rocks there, which is really, really nice. Let's see if we notice any weird stuff going on. We have our sink. Our surface align to is like how much it aligns to the surface. So I'm going to hit one to kind of align it more to the actual surface. And then we're going to get some weird stuff like that. And that's where you play with the sink a little, right? So you can actually start sinking a bit more. There we go. And look at that. So just like that, we already have rocks on the beach. Isn't that cool? That's really good. So I'm, I'm liking that so far. We can probably bring these in a bit, but I kind of like how I'm here and I'm kind of seeing that. So we could bring the min height like up a tiny, tiny bit. Let's just see here. We go to three, like seven, maybe. We can almost go to like point three eight there we go perfect good and you can play too with the seed of this stuff right so like for example you have a seed of 382 and what seed does it randomizes it so if we just like start moving these around you can actually see you're getting different variations which is really really nice and you can just even type in like a random number, like two, two, one for some reason, you know what I mean? Or, you know, just play around and it gives you different kind of cool effects and randomness that you have just like messing around right there. So that's going a little too high up here with that seed. So let's just keep going. Oh, okay, I kind of like that. That one looks really good. There we go. 
That looks really, really good. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to keep going further and start playing with some different ones. Um, so we're going to go ahead and actually select like all the landscape layers. Uh, well, not all of them. We'll just select maybe like these areas here. Sure, right there. Um, actually, I don't know if I want to do that one. But that's, yeah, that should be good. Yeah, that should be good. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to bridge here. And we're going to look up some palm trees. Let's look up some palm. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So we got these two right here. And let's go ahead and place them on there. So I'm holding down control again. And then I'm going to go scatter on selected. And then you can see there, did it pretty quickly, which is very, very good. And very they're very tiny, so let's get that scale up. Um, do, 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 do. Let's get that scale up. What should we do for the scale? Let's go like five, maybe a bit more, maybe like six. There we go. Now, once again, these are kind of like lower palms, so I'm going to kind of try and play with my, again, my min-max height. Let's close this. And we're gonna go over here. And let's go ahead to our feature masking and we're gonna play again with our min max height. So our max height is obviously there. So what we're going to do is bring that max height down. Let's try once again, like 0.45 or something. That may be a little too low. Let's see, let's go a little. Now we can, oh yeah, there we go, perfect. I want it going a little bit up on the grass here. That. Perfect. Good. And we got some going there. So now what we're going to do is play with the min. Now we know that once again, the max. So if we go to like, let's say a 0.4, you're going to see it start moving up. So what we're going to do is it's kind of around 0 0.43, 0 0.44. Okay. That's not bad right there. I'd say that's pretty good. There we go. But I want to play with the min and max scale of it. Uh, let's go like 10. Let's get a little higher. Yeah, I kind of like that a bit better. Kind of liking that a bit better. That's nice. And what falloff does is by the edges, and that's really nice too, just so you guys know what falloff does. Falloff is by the edges of your mask, okay? So that's like anywhere where it starts doing that, you can actually do a falloff. And what that's going to do is that those items by the edge are going to start shrinking, okay? So let's, I'm going to reset that. If you right click on here and you hit reset the default, you can see there it's big. And then we're going to go ahead and start shrinking those a tiny, tiny bit. And then once again, we're going to hit surface align all the way to one, just so it aligns with the surface. Um, we got some really, really tiny ones there. So I probably went a little too much on that. Let's do something like that. Perfect, perfect. Those ones are still growing. Got some weird stuff going on here, but I'm not too concerned because I'm more concentrated on this area. We can kind of fix that that's the surface align so we can play around with that after okay perfect good 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 so now as you can see just by using a couple values here we're able to really 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 control kind of this stuff all right perfect so now i've already added a whole bunch of palm trees here they're just all bunched up as you can see so we have a whole bunch of palm trees from the Divis pack I've had uh, for quite some time. Okay, and then what we can do here is we can actually type in surface scatter. Oh, I typed that wrong. Surface scatter. Yep, surface scatter. 
and here it is right here. So you have a surface scatter. So how you use this, and the reason why I did it this way was kind of show you a different way how to approach things. So these items are in my content library. I'm gonna show you where they are. They're in my content library right here in my div pack sample. Okay, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna grab all of them right there, and then we are going to add them to the scatter. And that's it, so it's very simple. So of course, now you're like, oh, well, how do you scatter it? Well, that's where this surface comes in. So I'm gonna move this over, and we're gonna start selecting the surfaces again. We will pretty much select all the landscape proxies. Okay, and then we are going to add it. And then there we go. So now we have our palms. And we're going to go ahead and start playing again with the min-max height. But first, we're going to take uh, the density. I mean the scale. Actually, no, let's play with the scale a bit. Let's get like a little bit here. There we go. Do, 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 do. Surface align. Maybe put that to like a one. Just so that it's, see, you can see there, that may not be the best solution actually. So let's move that back down a bit. There we go. And then once again, let's go to the featured masking. Trying to grab the corner here. There we go. So we're gonna go to the featured masking and we're gonna play with our min max height values. So let's do that. So that's the height. We wanna keep the height actually. Want, there we go. <clears throat> so now we've got there going on. That's looking pretty good. And I like playing with the surface align a tiny bit just to kind of give them a little bit more kind of randomization and as well playing with the seed until kind of getting what I like. And then as well playing a little bit with the fall off, just a tiny bit. So what you can actually do there, which is really nice, is extend kind of the min height. So we can go to like out here but then you can play with the fall off, which is going to then shrink them down, bring them in a tiny bit. There we go. You can almost get rid of them. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's looking really, really good. So essentially now we're at a really kind of good point of just filling out this island nicely. But of course, we have an issue, and the issue is, well, I wanted that. I want a nice path towards my scene here. And that's what we're gonna talk about now, paths. Okay, so to create a path or curve, pretty much in most cases, it's a spline. In Dash, it's very easy. You just type curve, and you have draw curve. And you can actually just on here, go ahead and just draw curve. It's that simple. Okay, and then what's nice is they give you a little tool tip here. You know, you can edit the offset up and down. We're gonna undo that. You can smooth it. If you want it to be smoother, you can hit shift and you can smooth it. So this is me holding down shift, holding down the middle mouse button, not using the scroll wheel, holding down the middle mouse button and that smooths it. And then if you do control, you can up the amount of points. Okay, so that's very, very useful. And then to apply, you hit enter on the keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a nice path here. So I'm actually gonna select the surface scatter here. I'm gonna hide that and the other scatter. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a nice path from here to here. Very simple, once again, type curve, draw curve. We're gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna be too crazy accurate, and we're just gonna do that. Perfect, good. Now we're gonna go ahead and smooth that out a bit. 
I'm actually first going to actually lower the amount of points because we don't need that many points. There we go. And then I'm going to smooth it out a bit. There we go. So now we have this nice path going here. And then I'm going to go ahead on the keyboard, hit enter. And there is the path. So that's pretty cool. And what I'd like to do is add some kind of like rocks going to this. And this is also too something that we can do on the what we call like a path scatter. And what we're going to do is go to our bridge little icon here and da 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 da, -da. Uh, let's do like thigh core. Oh, there we go. And which one should I do? Sure, let's do this one with a little green allergy on top. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and click on here. And with my path selected, I'm going to make sure the curve is selected. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go scatter on selected. And now the difference that you're going to see here, instead of a surface scatter, it says path scatter. And what does that do? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the things. Um, so you have your density. You've got your uh, a lot of stuff here. You have a surface that you can snap it to. So for example, I can select this and I can click on that and then it's going to snap my rocks to the surface. You can see there, look how tiny there. It actually snapped to the surface. So we'll leave that. So that's pretty cool. We can spin them, sync rotation. There's, there's a lot of features here and we're gonna play with a lot of these. So, okay, so the first thing what we need to do is, is play with the scale because obviously it's way, way too small. Um, so let's go ahead and let's make them a lot bigger. So like five, maybe like seven. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to spin them a little here. And then what I want to do is I want to kind of make them go kind of down a path here. So what you can actually do is play with the width here until you get something. So if you go width, that's actually pretty cool. We can go ahead and keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. So we have a pit of one there. That's pretty cool. And we're also going to use a little bit of a scale jitter in there. Perfect. as well as a rotation jitter, just to kind of give it a little bit of different kind of variations going on. The density is probably a little too high for me. There we go. Let's go really low on the density. Maybe actually a little bit more. And let's go higher on the scale there. Let's go to like 10, just to kind of give us thing. Oh, I'll close that right there. Perfect. Good. So now we're getting kind of like a nice little path going. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the path again. I'm going to turn that off. We're going to go ahead and select the path again. Let's go here. Um, and I believe there was like a nice little, I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was like a little gravestone or something. Oh, there it is. So the Japanese gravestone there. And then once again, control, drag, scatter on selected. And there it is right there. So we're gonna kind of do the same type of thing. Um, we have our path scatter. We're gonna put our max scale to like something bigger. Ooh, that looks good. There we go. Width, we're gonna do, it was like a width of one again. Oh, look at that, how good that looks. That's really, really good. We're gonna spin some of them to give a little bit of variation. Don't know if I wanna sync them. We could sync them or we can do kind of like a surface align again. So if we do that, we do like a surface align. Um, we add that to the surface. There we go. So now it's going to follow the surface, which is really, really nice. And then as well, you have look at modes, which is actually pretty cool, but we're not going to get into that. Per point makes it so that it's only per point on the actual spline. For there, I don't want that. And then as well, we can add a little bit of rotation jitter. 
There we go. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to twist the reaction for inside. See, that's to twist the rotation. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, there we go. And then as well, I'm going to go back to this rock right here. I'm going to bring that up. And I'm actually going to bring the width in a tiny bit like that. There we go. Perfect. Good. Oh, that's looking good already. Good, 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 good. So now what we're going to actually do is, is we're actually going to create a nice little path here. Um, they call it road. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my curve. It should allow me to curve. Perfect. There we go. I'm just going to slow my camera down a bit. Slow that down. And then we're going to go here. We're going to hit create road. Road tool. There we go. Boom. And we're going to add the curve to it. And when we do that, you can kind of actually see there, right there. And then once again, we're going to click on here and we're going to add the surface. Very nice. So we added the surface, which is the terrain there. Okay, let's go ahead and start playing with some of these tools like the width. Excellent. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a border sink there. Let's raise it up a tiny bit and then let's grab a texture for it. What texture should we do? Surface. Sure, let's drag a sand texture on there. Oh, that's interesting. It's not letting me drag a texture on there. Hmm. Oh, it's a little bug for you guys in Dash there. <laughs> right in my live thing. So essentially, the dragging of a texture on the road tool does not work right now. I don't know why. But that being said, though, when you do get a texture on it, um, which right now just is an output mesh, we can probably convert it after to a regular mesh. But anyways, with that being said, you have the width, you have you know, uh, your UV scale, so you can actually scale your UV down, which is really, really nice. Okay, and right now it's on vertex color, which is not what we want. Yeah, I don't know why that's not working. Huh, that is very, very interesting. Okay, well, we'll have to work with the devs on that. That's what's so great about the community. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our hidden objects. We have some hidden objects in here, which we're gonna go ahead and find. So we have our scatter cat palm, which is right here. I'm gonna bring this up. And with that being up, I'm going to go ahead and select my path, which is right here. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually use another masking tool called proximity Max, mask. And we're gonna go ahead and add this path to the proximity math mask. And when you do that, you can see that it's starting to kind of remove from that area. And what you can do is you can up the distance, like how far you want it from that area. So that is pretty cool. You can even hide this after we're done, but there we go. So then what we're gonna do is too, we are gonna actually as well do that to my other scatter, here we go, my other surface scatter right here. And we are going to bring that up. We're going to select the path here and we're gonna to go to our proximity mask and we're gonna click on that as well. And we are going to up the distance from it. There we go, proximity distance. Perfect, there we go. So now we have a nice little path there. Uh, we want to play a little bit, actually. I'm going to go back to the feature masking because this uh, min height, let's go to like 3.3. Three, oh, 3.5. There we go. Or is that too, too much? Oh, we got to play then with the fall off. So let's bring the fall off back a bit. There we go. Perfect. So that is looking really, really, really good, guys. I'm really, really happy with this right now, as you can see, just playing with a couple things here, moving through, 
which would typically take a very, very long time. And now you have this nice little beach with a nice little path. And yeah, that is working very, very well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what else you guys would like to see. There are some other very, very cool features. 